Hi, this is Dave Verba, and I'm going to show some of the, the tree pain or tree control uh, behavior and capabilities. In the classic scene editor, there's an example where uh, we have a header and what well, looks to be a border, but it's actually drawn. The border here is drawn by the uh, the scene editor panel, not the tree control. Um, to see an example of where the tree control is drawing the border, there's a, here's a rounded one in this example, and this doesn't have a header, so that's an optional feature. Now the uh, the columns are normally kind of set up in a you know hard coded fashion, but now there's some ways to have them automatically adapt to things. But in this example, we have a column that's actually adjustable. Starts off at a certain size, but you can extend that out to see more when you've got those really long named items or you can bring it in if you don't want to have to scroll through a bunch of stuff you can bring it in shorter like that now when you expand the attributes here you'll notice the vertical scroll bar will adapt we can scroll down another thing you can notice is when it's uh, drawn it doesn't stop at the at the uh, the full row it draws a partial row and you can actually click that one too so you know there's more to come not just because of the vertical thing but by looking at the content itself and when you get to the bottom it'll keep a full row visible instead of a partial row the the horizontal um, uh, columns I mean the uh, scroll bar will disable when it's able to see everything and, and likewise for the vertical uh, we can do the normal drag drop situation here where we insert as a child and so on. We can make these all children of each of its parent there. Now, if we extend this out, and we're far off to the right here, and we want to um, drag this around, notice that it, it attempts to keep the left side of the insertion point visible as you go through, so you know where you're putting things. Now this is all in a uh, high DPI mode, so we are fully compatible with that. The uh, let's see, um, let's go to the keyboard shortcuts panel. Now this uses a new uh, um, drag drop mode called drop over, so we can put the item right on top of the, the keyboard shortcut that we want instead of having to be confused by the, the insertion mode one which people would not always intuitively know which one it was going to go on to this is pretty obvious and also the the key column is one of those columns that's not hard coded with it actually adapted to the size of the content here so let's go to another example in this uh, plugin, these are using um, control that's based off of the, the tree pane. Uh, in this case, here we have content based width here. This is a, a set width um, with a pre computed um, header width and a little multiplier to give some space on each side. Let's go to the graph editor. Now it's got a big window here. Uh, so the expression side, as we change the, the window size, this column here automatically adapts while the other ones stay fixed at what they, they wanted to be originally. This column can be brought out to handle the longer names if we like. We can, of course, do the insertion mode repositioning. So, I think that gets through many of the behaviors. Uh, looks nice, I think.